How's it going, fellow gamers? Cast Eclipse here. This is Ark Survival Evolve. We are back on the island, checking out stuff on here again. Um, I do remember where I left off, or kind of, anyway. Um, well, hang on, let me take care of these bugs real quick. I don't want to hit my bird either. Um, so, I believe I was actually going to talk about crops anyway. Um, the thing with the crops is uh, you need fertilizer, as I went over in this last video that I just redid. Or not redid, but just made. Um, so, the very first thing that I mentioned, I mentioned about um, uh, needing fertilizer. And you definitely need fertilizer. The thing is, though, that I said, I think there's an easier way, blah, blah, blah. I think I already went over that in one of the previous videos as well. So you can actually get a dung beetle. Instead of making the compost bins, you can get a dung beetle. Um, so basically, I learned that compost bin for nothing, but it's fine. We can always do a mind wipe later. It just resets all your skills and everything. Um, but uh, you need a dung beetle. I, I, you don't need one because you can use the, the compost bin, but if you don't have the compost bin or if you don't want to learn it and you want faster uh, faster fertilizer made, you're going to get a dung beetle. You, or you have to get a dung beetle. Um, so that's why we are on this part of the map. So if I pull up my map, since we're on a bird, got to hit R1 when I pull it up. This is where we currently are. And I honestly don't remember if I showed off this place the last time. I think I might have been in the process of doing so. And that's why I had the sleeping bag and everything else. But then again, I'm not sure because I came over here and there's already a bed over here. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been collecting my own poop and the bird's poop on the way here. Um, I'm going to put that, that uh, canteen in here. We have an extra set of armor in case we die and an extra uh, pike in case we die. I was going to make a gun, but I didn't have enough uh, cementing paste. So, we're just going to try this with a pike. We should be okay, but if not, then worst case scenario, we'll just try to wing it or we'll just abandon the mission and go home. So, um, the area where we're at, like I showed, just showed you on the map, let me go ahead and make my character poop again. Um, you're going to come to this river right here, which I will show you on the map again. The way I'm facing right now, that is the way towards the ocean. So we're going to pull up this menu again. So you're going to come right down there. The one that has that uh, that really big cove down there. You're going to come right here about halfway up to that first line. The, uh, the 80 that's on the left side there for your latitude. And then what you're going to do is you're going to follow this cliff side on your right side as you're flying away from the ocean. So you're going to follow this cliff side. Um, you're not going to follow it up that way. You're going to come down here. You're going to see this path. And you're going to follow this path. You can see all the dirt and everything down here. My gamma is currently turned up because I think it's still kind of nighttime. Um, actually, no, because that's a true dawn. His eyes aren't glowing. Okay, so let's hit circle. Um, okay, it's 5.53. I think 06 is morning, so I don't know why his eyes aren't glowing. That's fine, though. We're going to leave the gamma up just for a second. We're going to come in here, and then you're going to follow this cliff side. And this is where I built the, uh, the little house. I don't know, like I said, if I showed you guys this or not. Um, this is just somewhere where I want to park my bird at. Um, the reason why I brought the otter is because some caves are hot and stuff like that, which I just went in there. I'm not going to lie. I went in there and just now checked it out. I didn't kill anything, but we're going to jump off him. It's not that hot. We're going to throw our otter down here in the bottom so he's safe. Throw our otter in the bottom so he's safe, you little bastard. Um... So, and then the bird's going to stay here. The only thing that's really going to be able to hit him is something if it falls from up there, which is pretty rare. Um, or if a T-Rex comes through, which in this area is kind of rare as well. We might get a Spino up in here, but uh, even that would be kind of rare for him to come away from the river. They normally stick to the rivers. Plus, our bird should be able to take quite a beating before he gives up. And then we have our bed here, so that's why we don't need the sleeping bag. I don't know what I had the sleeping bag for. But um, I think this is literally what we're going to do because I did not build this in between episodes just now. Um, this, I think I showed it to you guys. If I didn't, this is what it looks like. It's just a little two by, ah. it's just a little two by two on the bottom. And then up here, it's a three by three, just big enough so that I can park the bird up there and make some stairs. Um, if you want a bigger one, smaller one, you can do it wherever. Um, I may have also, oh God, I may have also done this one just because, uh, um, I was probably setting up for, oh, no, 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 stay up there, bird, what are you doing? No, 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 are you on, are you on neutral? And where'd my otter go? Okay, you're there. What are you freaking out about? You're on, oh, you're on passive flee, okay. So 
So I attack something so you're freaking out. Gotcha. You'll be fine. Stop. There. Go back up the stairs. Go up. Go up. Um, so what I did is I built this little thing just so that uh, the bird can stay in here and stuff since you can't really take them in the cave. Now, if you're playing on... Oh, God. If you're playing on a custom uh, map or someone else's that they, they own the server or something like that, you can turn on cave flyers. You can also turn on cave buildings, which means that you can build in the cave and you don't have to worry about anything. But if you have cave building off, you can still build in the caves. It's just the buildings will deteriorate over time no matter what you do. Unless you're constantly repairing it. And that's just going to waste a lot of materials. You don't want to do that. Um, the cave flying, I would turn off as well. Just in my opinion. Because you can easily get your bird or whatever you're flying in there stuck. Um, and you may not be able to get him back out. Then you'll have to ask for the admin's help. Or unless you're the admin, then you can like respawn him or something like that. But it's a pain in the butt. So right here where I'm at, I'm going to pull up the map again and show you guys one more time. It's right along that 80 mark, a little bit below it on that uh, on that little piece of land down there, um, right above the Gulf Coast. Um, sadly, it doesn't give you the exact coordinates. I did not bring a GPS with me, which that is m might be why I have one at the, at the uh, home base. But um, this is the one of the cave entrances. And I think I came in here before even and start, showed you guys a little bit of it. Um, I'm going to leave the gamma turned up as well because it can get dark in these caves. You can either bring a flashlight um, on a gun or something like that, which is why I wanted to bring a gun because it would be a lot easier to get through this and kill stuff. If I run into an Arthur Pleura, the, uh, the spit that they use, it's very acidic and it will just destroy any metal stuff you have. So even me hitting him with my pike, my pike will break just because I'm going to be hitting him. It's going to be damaging him, but it's also going to be taking damage because of the blood that, uh, that it lets out while it's dying, basically. So its spit is acidic and so is its blood. Um, and it'll, like I said, it'll just destroy anything metal that you have. Um, so it's pretty much a one-way shot all the way down here. Um, be very careful with the caves. I think I pointed this out before. Sometimes snakes and spiders and everything can get stuck in the walls. It's really bad with Ark. I don't know why they haven't went through and tried to at least fix that. Um, I think they maybe tried, but they haven't been successful. Uh, at least as far as I know. And the bad thing is that Ark is pretty much done. They already finished the storyline and everything. Um, they're already working on Ark 2, which has already been announced and everything. So I think we came here the last time, we looked left, it was very quiet, and I panicked, and I ran back this way. I know this way more, so we came this way, and I think I, find it, I fought some snakes down there and stuff. Now, if you look down here, oh, there's a dung beetle right there. There's also a very high-level spider. Um, I kind of want to go get that dung beetle. That's why we're here. We literally, I just literally want a dung beetle, and that's it. Um... So, but I'm, I'm still going to go this way because I want to show you guys this other thing. So if you come this way, um, there's literally nothing over here that spawned in for me. I don't know why. Oh, there they are. Never mind. They definitely spawned in this time. Uh, there's two of them. All right. We might be okay. I'll still, I'll still take you guys a little bit further. Because I don't remember the dung beetle on the other side either. Where's the other one at? Come on. Get rid of that. Come on. Come on. Snakes I'm not too worried about. I mean, yeah, even if they hit you, they can knock you out and they can ultimately kill you. But for the most part, you literally just back up, keep swinging, and you can kill them. I hate combat music in video games. Um, they make me panic. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that. <laughs> that freaked me out because of the... Whatever that was, it made noise. I don't know what it was. It sound, definitely sounded like it was behind me. Let's make sure there's nothing coming. Because this is our only exit. I want to make sure there's nothing aggroed on this side. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, scorpions and uh, snakes are very easy. You just literally back up and keep hitting them. Um, scorpions probably have a longer reach, though. Um, the snake doesn't, really. So you don't really have to worry about the snakes too much. Alright, this is what I did the last time. We're just kind of peeking around the corner here. Okay, so it looks clear. Once again, like I said, stuff can be inside the walls. Be very careful with that. Also, on the ceilings and walls and stuff, um, 
there are lizards in some of these caves that can climb the walls and stuff. They blend in very well, so be very careful with that. If you get rabies, you're probably going to die. I think we actually did do that in one of the other caves, which was actually why I had the otter. Um, I thought we were... I, I initially went to that cave where it's hot. I believe I showed you guys that one before. And even with the otter, it was just boiling hot in there. So I turned around and I came to this one. That's when I found the little house and I remembered exactly what we were doing. Holy crap. There's one in the wall there. Or he was right below us. Okay, so none of that stuff was down there a second ago. Um, it is aggroed on me. The spiders... I don't think they can climb walls. Um, actually, they can. Are they going to come up here? Okay, they de aggroed I believe. What is moving around? Um, so we're going to come this way. We are going to probably die... Um, but that is why I brought more armor and everything, so maybe if we feel ballsy enough, we'll come back down and get our stuff. Um, there is water in this cave. I do have two canteens on me. I think I left one on the bird. I did. Crap. Okay, so we don't have to worry too much about water, though. This cave isn't as hot as it initially was earlier. Um, all these ambient noises, a lot of them are just fake noises. Uh, you'll hear guys every now and then be like, oh, like if there's another player in here, there's not, I promise you. Um, this water that's down here, you can jump off, run and go, jump in there. There, I guarantee you there's piranhas, snakes, and everything else that's deadly in the water down there. Um, probably a couple sarcos even. Uh, be careful standing on the edge like I am, like an idiot, because if something comes out of the wall behind me and it hits me, it'll throw me in there. Um, I believe over there is pretty much the only way up. There's a way up down here, but it's very hard to get up, so that's why we're not jumping in the water. Plus, I don't want to die in this video if I don't have to. Alright, looks like we have a scorpion down here as well. None of this stuff was here a second ago. That is why I came this way. Oh, and that's an arthropod. Okay, so we're not going down there. But literally, if you keep going this way, right where that beam is, this beam right here. This pillar that is in the middle of the cave down there. Is that a snake too? What is that? Oh no, that's just part of the thing. Um, if you go left from there, there is the... Uh, oh, that's one right there. There's two of them. Yeah, those are the ones that will just destroy your armor. They just look like uh, centipedes or millipedes. I think it's a centipede. Anyway, um, if you make a left down there heading that way, uh, that is where the artifact is. Um, but we're not going to go. Um, if you guys want to take an easier route... You can also come this way where we seen this cliff right over here. Be very careful going back through here. Sometimes stuff will respawn in behind you. Um, or it could have just came out of the walls like I said. So be very careful either way. But the stuff that was down there where we looked and we saw the scorpion and the spiders. I'll take a peek one more time. Hopefully I don't fall down. If I do we're totally dead. Um, but if you go down here. If you bring. Oh you see me. Um, if you look right over there where the mushrooms are, if you keep going straight that way, um, you can get to the artifact that way as well. Um, if you bring a grapple with you, you can actually just grapple back up over here and come back out this way instead of going through that mess that's over there. There are drops in caves. I think I explained that before as well. But if not, there are drops in caves. They are smaller. Um, actually, yeah, I did because even in the snow one, we've seen one. Alright, so we're going to try to come over here. We're going to kill everything except this uh, dung beetle. As long as there's no arthropleurs right there, we should be fine. This is the area that I'm worried about, though. This is where it's really narrow, usually, is where uh, stuff comes out of the walls. Because I think it's supposed to like spawn like down in the corner and stuff, and it doesn't. It spawns inside the walls, and there's something right there. What are you? That is one of the snakes, or one of the lizards I was talking about that's on the wall. Um... <laughs> Pardon my French. Um, so these lizards you can get rabies from. If you get what's called mega rabies, you pretty much will die. Um, they're very fast. Do I have stuff to make? I don't. Um, hang on. I don't know if you can bola them. I don't even know if I have bolas learned. Let's see here. Bolas, bolas. I do have bullets learned. What else do I need? Thatch and fiber. Okay, we're going to go get thatch and fiber real quick. Um, it does work on the spiders. It works on scorpions. Uh, I don't know about bats either. I've never tried that. Bats will also give you mega rabies. Um, anything that gives you rabies is pretty much deadly. 
you can make a uh, a thing that will take away the mega rabies and all that but I did not make that usually that involves the crops and everything um, and as you guys know that is part of why we're here so that we can get a dung beetle so we can get fertilizer so we can do our crops a lot faster um, so honestly one of the things you may want to wait for is it's it's risk over reward or reward over risk um, so you may want to it's loading um, you may want to wait a bit and uh, make sure that you guys have your yes even this area is just dark in general because the gamma's turned all the way up that's why it looks all foggy it's not foggy it's just the gamma's turned up um, you may want to wait at your base or whatever until you actually have plants using just the the fiomia like I showed you guys and stuff like that instead of coming over here and risking whatever you guys may or may not have now if you're playing on a private server like me then it's not that big of a deal you can get that stuff back pretty easily but if it's a PvP server um, sometimes it may not be worth it just because it's going to take you forever to get metal back and stuff like that because you know you got to remake your armor and everything um, for me I can go get metal anytime I want if I was on a PvP server most of that metal is either just going to be gone because people are going to be farming it or um, it could just be uh, people are killing you on your way there, anything like that. Um, all right, we can make six bolas. So it could be a number of things, but it all depends on how you want to play the game. Ultimately, if you want to take a risk, even if you're on a PvP server, go for it. I mean, knock yourself out. You know, it's it's all part of part of the, playing the game in general, anyway. So, but we are gonna definitely go back in here, and we're gonna try to get that um, that dung beetle. Uh, so, so far, I didn't see any arthropleurs on that side, which is a good sign. Now that I came out and I'm going back in, it may actually respawn some of the stuff, so i got to be careful again. Um, it's just one of the bad things about going in and out of servers, or not servers, in and out of caves. Um, they usually regenerate pretty fast, just because uh, they're trying to keep the caves one of the more challenging areas in the game, so... If you're going in there thinking, oh, I already cleared out this cave, you know, 10 minutes ago. There's probably stuff that's already respawned by the time you're leaving that cave even. So, uh, this is always nerve-wracking. My, anxi my anxiety kicks in and I start freaking out. Um, I don't even know if these bolas are going to work on this lizard. That's The lizard is the main thing I'm worried about. If I can bola him, um, it, it's still going to be a little rough though because I'm going to have to bola him. And then I'm going to have to fight the scorpion and kill it before he becomes unbolid, the lizard. And then I have to kill it too before it becomes unbolid. Because I don't think you can re bola something while it's already bolid. Let's look this way, see if anything's respawned over here. What's moving there? Is that there's a plant? Yeah. Okay. We're going to come this way again real quick. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm just making sure nothing else respawned over here. Because if we start getting chased by that thing and I don't want to run out. Um, I want to make sure I have a place to run where I can actually, actually fight stuff off. And as you can see, metal spawns in here too. These are all metal nodes right here. These ones. So, and there's some over there. There's usually metal all over inside the caves. Not in all of them, but in quite a bit of them. Alright, so. The lizard should aggro first. Um, see, this is the problem though. When that lizard aggros, the scorpion's going to come as well. Dung beetles are passive. He's not going to come, but I just don't know what else is down there. There might be, like I said, snakes in the wall. The spiders are a little further away. I'm not too worried about them. It looks like just one scorpion and one lizard. Oh, there's two lizards. I just now seen that one. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't. They might not be the ones. I don't think that these ones will pick you up and run with you. Um, there's some lizards that will pick you up in their mouth and they will run with you. And if they do that, you're dead because they don't run out of the cave. They don't run in random directions. They run deeper into the cave on purpose. So you're pretty much screwed. So uh, I wish I had a crossbow. I could at least initiate it from further away. Because I'm probably going to miss with one of these. I don't even know how far these things reach. Wow, that didn't even go anywhere. It literally just broke in my hand. Can you not throw bolas in here? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, wild card. There's nothing around me. You can't throw bolas in a cave. 
Holy crap, you just fucked me, Ark. Oh, um, I don't have anything else. Um, so, uh, one of the things I could do, which I don't know if you can put those down in here either. If I had them made or whatever, I could have probably bought, brought bear traps and put two of them down. Because the lizards are going to be faster than the scorpion. Put those down and then go from there. I don't have anything ranged to kill those, though. right away okay the scorpions coming the lizards did not that's a good thing let's see what happens when we attack the scorpion okay we're hitting it uh, lizards still aren't coming he did hit us once but we should be able to kill him before we knock out oh my god he's so much faster and I threw out the stim bears didn't I I did okay we're gonna wait till we calm down make sure we're not gonna pass out the bad thing about this is that I don't know that those lizards are actually gonna come they're probably not going to. Um, so we have option B. We are going to get some flint. And we're going to do this the very scary way. We're going to make a bow. What am I missing? More fiber. Alright, we're going back out again. That scared me. I saw a rock formation shaped like a lizard. Oh god. I'm feeling sick to my stomach like we're gonna die. And one of the things you can do is you can bring other creatures in here. Um, so creatures are pretty much immune to diseases. Uh, the dodos can catch the sickness. I think anything else can't really catch anything else. Um, so if you had a smaller dinosaur that would actually fit in this cave that you, that's rideable like the saber tooth that I was supposed to be getting that I kind of abandoned I could literally ride him in here go through there um, the lizard on top as long as I can shoot him and make him fall to the ground first I don't think he'll hit me first or even if I'm mounted and he falls from top it still might not hit me it might hit the dinosaur um, I don't remember exactly how that works but uh, if it hits the dinosaur then the dinosaur is just going to take like health damage and stuff like that. He's not going to actually die from uh, rabies because he won't catch it. Or if he does, it wears off faster or it just doesn't affect them as much. Also, dinosaurs have way more health than you do. And the rabies lasts like, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. Um, another thing is if you have mega rabies, even if you bring in uh, like potions and stuff, like stuff to make uh, the medical brew, um, you can just drink those back to back which is pretty cool but uh if you're playing with another friend and he is standing next to you the mega rabies is um contagious standing next to another player with mega rabies will definitely keep getting you infected so if you guys both catch it or even if one of you catches it you'll give it to the other person but if you both have it you need to separate from each other until you both lose it so once you both lose it, then you can team back up and try to uh, tackle a cave again or something like that. Or whatever it is that gave you the rabies. As far as I know, those lizards, the Megalonias, I think that's how you say it. They carry it. Um, they won't always give it to you when they hit it, when they hit you. But like 90% of the time they will. Like 95% of the time. It's a very high chance that you'll get it from them. Which is why I'm really worried about this. Because I don't think we have enough health to technically live through it. Um, if, especially if we get it, but if we can kill them, if we can at least kill both of them before we die, the mega rabies usually kicks in pretty fast and uh, you usually die, you die pretty quick. But if we can kill both of them before we die, we can spawn in this bed here. We can get our another, our other set of armor off the bird. We can go back in there, grab that, uh, that dung beetle and just get the hell out of here. We don't have to worry about, um, waiting for the... For anything else, uh, once you die the mega rabies, you lose it. Uh, it doesn't come back unless you get bit again or something like that. So, oh, definitely something that's possible, but still going to be very nerve wracking. Uh, we don't need any seeds. We already have all the seeds that we need. Um, I'm just throwing them, throwing out all the stuff we don't need. We're going to keep the uh, the stem berries this time, just in case. Uh, so let's make a regular bow, and we can make 80 arrows, which isn't bad, but that's going to weigh us down quite a bit with all the stuff we have. Uh, we don't need metal. we got tons of metal. We don't need, uh, um, we'll, we'll wait a second. Let's make, 
Uh, I mean, we're only going to be able to hit them like twice. So let's make like 10 of these just in case we miss a few. Um, we can throw all the bolas out since they're not going to help us one bit. Um, I guess I got to do it out here. I'll just use them. I could have just literally put that stuff on my bird. Same thing with that stuff, but whatever. Alright, um, so let's equip the bow. Let's make sure it has an arrow in it. Okay. Alright, and all we're going to do is we're going to hit the one on top first. He is the lower level one. If they both come, then they both come. But the fact that they didn't come in when that scorpion did, I don't know if they're both going to come. It might only be the first one that I'm going to hit. But we're going to try to um, only aggro one, see if we can kill it before it gives us rabies or before it kills us if it does give us rabies we're probably going to rush the second one as fast as possible just to uh try to get them both to aggro so we can try to take them both down before dying um so wish me luck guys <sighs> my nerves are like on edge right now all right, so we're going to, once again, we're going to check that left side. And you guys might think I'm panicking about this, but without coming in here with a gun and knowing that you're pretty much going to die, um, it kind of sucks. But I don't understand how people go in. I mean, it's just a game, don't get me wrong, but I don't understand how people come in games like this and they just run in there like, if I die, I die, you know, whatever, screw it. Like, I mean, yeah, if I die, I die, you know, it's just a game, but like, I don't want to die. Like, how do you not let your, your nerves get to you like that? Like, how do you have that kind of restraint on your on your your nerve system? Like, it's just, can't do it. I can't. Okay, so it's just the two, right? Let's check the wall over there. I'm not seeing anything there. There's the one on top, which is a 55. The other one's a 90. Is there any that I'm missing? Is there any closer than those two. There's a 90. I don't see any like tails sticking out of corners. That's a dung beetle. The scorpion's dead. The spiders are further away. Alright, let's give it a shot here guys. Literally. Oh god, and they're both coming. They're so fast. Look at that. You know what, let's uh let's try to lead them away. How about that? Come on. Come down here to the opening and you're the level 90, so Definitely got got rabies from him. Here comes the other one. Come on, die, 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 die. The other one's stuck, he's just sitting there. We're going to eat some food. Since we're hungry, it will give us back some food. Let's rush him. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stop it. Why can't I hit you? Okay, we killed it. Alright, so now we just have to watch these rabies come off of us. And this is what I was talking about. Watch this, guys. Um, let me show you how fast your health is falling. Look at that so fast so we probably are gonna die from this but we did kill them both which is a good thing um, let's pick up this get some of the arrows back and let's actually rush in there and see if anything else aggro's on us real quick before we die any other lizards or anything nope and our dung beetles right there okay so we're gonna die I'm gonna run back to the entrance as much as possible and then we can just spawn here, we can run back in and get our stuff back off of our body right away. So if I had a medical brew, I would have lived through this. Make sure you guys bring a medical brew. It looks like it's also draining my stamina. There's nothing I can do with that either. I don't know why I just drank water. I'm going to end up dying, so it's not going to help. Alright, hopefully my body doesn't fall through the earth and I can actually get it back. But we are dead. There we go. Okay. Yeah, see, and that little thing above your head, that's how you know that someone has mega rabies. So if you're playing with a friend and they don't think about, oh, I have other beds and stuff set up. 
um, if they have other uh, or like if they have other priorities, you know, they're playing the game with you or whatever, but they don't think about, hey, telling you, I ha I have rabies, stay away from me. If you see that over their head and you don't have the rabies, just back away from them. Um, the sickness one that you can get. Did I click it? The sickness one that you can get. Um, that one is uh, a green thing. It looks exactly the same, except it's green. All right, so we technically didn't lose anything because all of our stuff is just right in there, which is fine. So we just run back in there and grab our stuff. We don't have to take our other set. There shouldn't be anything in between here and where we died at. Um, everything else, like I said, is only down after that split, which we definitely ran past. So we can run down in here. It should be right after this corner here. Yep, there's our body. So we're good as long as none of that stuff respawn. There's our body. Let's just grab everything. Once again, as I'm pretty sure I mentioned before, do not forget to re-equip your armor, guys. Definitely a big thing that a lot of people forget. We're going to grab some meat off our own body, make sure it despawns. Alright, and let's go down here, see if anything else despawned. So right here, up to this one, not this point, the next point, right there. So right here where you can go left and right, where I killed the uh, the lizard, the last lizard, um, at this point is where stuff starts spawning in at. So from here forward is where you need to be careful with stuff spawning in. I'm going back this way because I want to check that other lizard's loot that he dropped. I want to make sure nothing else is going to kill me down here. Um, take this toxin and we're going to take the arrows back. Which actually, those are extra arrows because I only made 10 and somehow have 22 now. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's see if anything else spawned in, see if we're going to get screwed over or not. The only bad thing about what we're about to do is when we start feeding this dung beetle, he may start walking around. Um, it's a passive tame, so what you have to do is you have to come in your inventory. Oh, we're almost out of poop, like it's all going away. You want to put the poop in the very last thing. I think I showed you guys passive tame before. You're going to crouch down as you approach it, and you're going to feed it from behind. The only thing I'm worried about is when I feed this thing, um, even though my taming's turned up, if it does not tame, it might walk further into the cave, meaning we will have to fight those spiders and anything else that's down there. So there's two spiders, the 130, 120. I thought I saw 145 earlier. Maybe that was a scorpion. There's Arthropleurus down there, so hopefully he does not run off. There's a drop there, um, and then to the left there's another water thing, and then there's a cave down off in that direction. Let's see if we can feed you, and hopefully you stay right there. If we can feed him, we can actually pick these guys up. If we can tame him. So let's feed him that, okay. Good, he did not walk off. We just need to wait for him to be hungry again, so we're going to grab another poop, throw it down in here again. I don't know if stuff can de uh, spawn right back on top of you, like if those lizards come back, I don't know how that works, so be very careful with that. Make sure that you do not touch this beetle while you are taming it. It is very crucial that you do not touch him. If you touch him, he will stop taming. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I know like stuff like these spiders and stuff down there, they also t are tamed that way. Um, you may be able to knock them out now, because uh, scorpions used to be the same way, and you can knock out scorpions now and just tame them that way. Um, but with spiders, they aggro on you anyway, so it's very hard to tame them. Um, if you want to tame those guys, there is a, uh, a bug repellent that you can get, but you need crops first. You have to make like, uh, you have to use like citronol, um, stuff and everything like that so it's definitely better to make sure you have your crops going before you start taming a whole bunch of other stuff plus you'll be able to start making your um your what is it sweet bread or whatever the hell it's called to tame some of the other herbivores or you can um you can make uh what is it the um what is it uh oh god what was that oh that was a dung beetle um, you can make the, uh, I don't remember what it's called. I swear I saw something moving down there. It was like right, right there in front of the, 
beetle or in front of the spider. Um, oh my god, what is it called? It's like a special treat that you can give to the to the dinosaurs and stuff. Um, it's a recipe thing that you have to do. I, I've went over it before. I don't know when I if I remember it, I'll let you guys know what it is. But if I don't, then you'll probably hear about it in the next video if I remember to mention it. But it literally oh, it's kibble. There we go. Um, so you can make kibble, but uh, a lot of it requires certain vegetables and stuff like that, which the vegetables are pretty much the only thing that you can get from, uh, or you can only get them from pretty much doing crops or raiding someone else's base. Since I'm on a single player server, obviously I can't raid anyone else's base. Alright, so you see right there on the gray where it says wait till it's hungry again. Make sure that you guys see that, because if you're just right here, you're not going to know if it's hungry again. If you move up, it'll say wait. So we're going to back off again. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to be hungry again. But this is how you do any passive tame. Um, actually, I have showed you guys this before for sure. Because um, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys how to tame the otter. Um, if I didn't, then this is how you do a passive tame. Uh, whatever it is that the creature likes. So for these guys, it's poop. You literally feed them poop. And that's how the fertilizer works. You literally stock their inventory with poops so on these dung beetles. You're going to want to put your points, any points you get, into weight. And you're just going to load them up with poop. And he will just turn the poop into fertilizer with no thatch required like the compost bin requires. Okay, so he's hungry again. I'm just going to hit triangle again. It looks like it's going to take one more. So, um, so whenever you're doing a passive tame, whatever the creature likes, since this dung beetle, he eats poop. You have to have poop on hand. I was going to say, I really hope I still have poop. Um, and you have to put it in this last slot. It has to be in that last slot, no matter what, if you're doing a passive tame. Same thing with the otter. I don't remember if I actually showed you guys the otter or not. Um, you'll kill a fish, and then you'll... Actually, with the otter, you can't put it in the last slot. What you'll have to do is you have to hit triangle, how you can like drag fish around or dead bodies around. You'll hit triangle to drag it, or your whole triangle. And you'll do like drag body with a dead fish and you'll take it up to the otter and then you hit triangle when it says that he's hungry again just like this it's just instead of going in that slot um it just you carry it and he won't come up to you to get it you have to actually chase him around which can be very daunting especially if you're doing it in like a uh there we go feed that last one was really quick okay and then we can just hit triangle to pick him up and i'm not worried about not being able to see because we're going to get out of here with our dung beetle that's just him making noise. All right, so we got our dung beetle, guys. We can go and I'll show you guys how to get fertilizer from him, which actually I can show you that now. So we're gonna throw him down, throw him down, throw him down. There we go. Uh, you're gonna open up his inventory and you're just gonna put poop on him. That's it, that's literally all you do. He will turn into fertilizer over time what we're going to do real quick though is we're going to go to behavior, we're going to disable following, and we're going to turn off his attacking target. Uh, we're going to do passive flee, just in case we run into problems along the way. Which we shouldn't, but um, you never know. Something might happen. I might come out here and there might be a T-Rex attacking my bird, and I might have to throw him to save the bird, which I will gladly sacrifice a dung beetle for the bird. So, but, doubt that's going to happen. All right. Um, there are on other maps. There are either easier ways to get dung beetles. Um, on this one, I think they're only in the caves. Uh, this is probably the easiest cave to get them out of because it's not hot like the other cave was, and um, they're not usually as deep. In the other one, they're pretty deep as well, if I remember. In the other cave, and then there's other maps where they're just out in the open. I think I might have showed. Actually, I think I might have showed you guys even dung beetles on the Ragnarok map. I don't know if I actually did a Ragnarok, Ragnarok map with you guys. I might have. I might, that might be where I showed you guys a Thylacolio if I even showed you guys that. I'm going to have to go back and watch all my videos. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw you down here. Oh my god. There you go. We're going to pick up your poop. Did you drop any poop? Actually, we're going to throw you down real quick too give you a level. Where are you going? Um, oh. oh man. I keep hitting the wrong button. Square. There we go. 
All right, we're gonna give you weight so you can carry more food. Pick you up. Did you get a level? You did not. Okay, so we're gonna fly. We're gonna pick up this dung beetle. Of course, it is very crazy. We're stuck on the wall. We're gonna go up and we're gonna swoop down and get him. Grab him here. Don't drop him. Got him. All right. So now the problem is getting him home. Um, actually, we're not that far, I guess, from home. Um, but it's still going to be an issue. If we take a look at our map here, uh, we are up above the 40 on the left side of the map. So um, I don't know if this bird has enough stamina. Definitely has a lot of stamina, but I still don't know if it's going to be enough. Alright, and while you're like this, you don't want to hit L2, that will drop the beetle. If you hit R2, it's going to attack the beetle. You don't want to do either one of those. Um, one of the things I can do is I can pause it, go to options, and I'm going to turn back down the gamma. Because it is bright as hell out here. Alright, there should be okay. Apply. Resume. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it changed anything. But it should be less, like, foggy looking. Alright, and by the time we get home, honestly, we'll probably already have fertilizer. Um, I may have already went over the dung beetle with you guys. I think I might have. So, one of the things that, uh, that I want to point out as well, since we're doing this right now, um, I may have went over this already too, but just in case I haven't, when you're flying with a tame, like one that you're carrying with your bird, keep an eye on your stamina of the bird. His stamina will drain faster just because you're carrying something. Um, not much faster, but it'll still be faster, so you want to be very careful with that because if you run out of stamina, the first thing he does is he's going to drop your tank. And if I drop him in this swamp below us over there, uh, even right there might be pretty dangerous. Um, he's pretty much dead. Most things don't attack the dung beetles. Um, some things do, I think, but I think most of the stuff just honestly leave it alone because it's not... Although if it's tame, they might attack it. I don't, I don't remember, honestly. Um, so what you want to do is when you're about a fourth of your stamina, you want to start looking for a spot that you can like set down and actually place your tame down while you sit down as well while you land with your bird and kind of gather back your stamina on your bird. And then you want to make sure that there's nothing down there that's going to kill it. So if I wanted to set down right here, which we are going to do because that next area is a big swamp and I don't want to set down anywhere in there. We're going to do a little quick flyby doesn't look like there's anything at all that's hostile here um that little guy he's hostile but he's not well actually there's two of them down there. there's one over there and one there um so we're gonna fly over to this edge over here um main thing you want to make sure is that there's not like raptors or something that's fast that's going to kill your tame like like a uh the saber tooth the raptor or anything like that um this area right here doesn't look too bad there's a one guy that's back there somewhere not that one, but there was... Oh, yeah, that is that one. Okay, yeah, those are the two that are there. Okay, so this area is perfect. Uh, there's a snake coming up here, which we should be fine, though. we will probably stay over there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down slowly. We're going to hit L2 so we can drop the tame. We're going to land right next to it just to protect it. That snake shouldn't come this way, but if it does, we're just going to attack it with the bird. Um... Hopefully our beetle doesn't passive flee. And we're just going to keep looking around while our bird gains back stamina. He already, are, ah, already has all of his stamina back. This guy would also be a pain in the butt. I don't think they'll do it if they walk up on your team, but if they walk up on you, they will attack. So let's pick back up our dung beetle. Make sure we have him. All right. And then we are going to start flying fast again. Remember not to fly too close to the redwoods, or if you do, fly up and over them because the thylacolios will jump down out of the trees and they will attack you. And while you're like this, if you get tackled off of your, your mount, I'm pretty sure they will also drop your tame. Because they have nothing telling them that they're supposed to be holding on to that mount anymore. Or on to that tame anymore. I don't think you can ride the dung beetles? Question mark. I don't know, honestly. Um, I don't think that's a thing though, but some of the weirder stuff that you would think you can't ride, you can. Like the spiders, the arthropleurs, they definitely have saddles for those, you can definitely ride them. I've had a spider once before, um, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like amazing or anything. Um, arthropleurs, I've never used them before, 
but from what I hear, they are actually absolute killers of metal bases. Um, so if you don't have like C4 or anything like that, and you want to try breaking into someone's metal base really quick, tame an Arthur Fleur. I don't know how hard they are to tame. Um, I think it's pretty much the same thing like I was talking about with the spiders. I think you do have to do a passive tame with them, which means you will need to get some crops first, and you'll probably have to make that that bug repellent. Excuse me, and as long as you're not touching the Arthur Plur, you can sneak up behind him like I was doing with the Dung Beetle. Um, feed him whatever he eats, which I honestly don't even know what they eat. And uh, after that, then you can just uh, keep doing that, tame him, and it'll be yours. You can make a saddle for him and go and raid some bases. Some metal bases, specifically. And anyone who has metal armor with no guns and they come running out, they're probably going to stay away from you anyway, because... Um, even if they start attacking you, they're gonna do, like I said, they're gonna start hitting your Arthur Pleura, and it's definitely gonna damage their metal weapons. Um, now if they have, like, crossbows and stuff like that, or if they have, uh, certain items from other maps, um, like if they have the, uh, there's like this grenade seed thing that you can get from the Aberration map, that when they throw it, it automatically, like, it's like a flashbang. It will automatically dismount anyone who's on a creature. So if they do that, then they can, if your tame isn't on, like, aggressive or whatever, uh, your tame's just going to sit there and they're just going to bully you. They're going to kill you, whatever. Hopefully you have a gun or something on you in case you do get knocked off your mount. Um, I think there's other things that will knock you off your mount, too. But that's just the very first one that came to mind because I was playing Aberration uh, not too long ago. Um, it's been a while, but I haven't done any videos for you guys. Um, I did one aberration video, and it from there I tried setting up, and it just got worse and worse playing that that map alone. That map is very hard, and that's why I came back to the uh, the island here. Now our stamina is very low. We should be fine to make it all the way back to the base, though. It's just right up ahead, so we're gonna try to make it all the way there. Plus, if we don't, um, he's not going to fall in the water because we'll definitely make it over this land before it goes all the way down. And then that water over there, I'll just fly around just to be on the safe side because there is piranhas that spawn in that water. And if he drops from there, um, more than likely there's not going to be anything down there. But saber tooths and stuff do spawn over here as you guys have seen. So we'll just be a little careful with that. But it looks like we'll be fine. I'm just going to fly over this water too just to make it all the way there. Alright, perfect. So now these two will work together. I'm going to drop them right next to that one. These two will work together. We will get poop from this one, and we will feed it to that one. So it is going to work perfectly. You're going to stay there. Let's see if you already have some fertilizer. You don't. Okay. Um, that's fine. We're going to give this one weight. Like I said, the weight on these are very important. You always want to put points into weight because when you're giving him poop and stuff, um, it literally only goes up by one at a time. As you see, it went from like 7.8 to 8.4. Now it's going to go from 8.4 to 9. So he can only hold 9 poop uh, pretty much because these are pretty much 1 each. Well, 1.5 for the medium ones and like 0.1 for the regular ones. Um, did we get any more actual fertilizer over here? We got two. That's not bad. We're going to take the poop out. And we're going to give it to our dung beetle. Um, also, I did go ahead and replace the... Uh, or not replace, but I did go ahead and put a vault in here. I went ahead and made one. That is where all my cementing paste went. So we're going to put all of that in there. And as you can see, the uh, plant is growing up a little bit. Uh, it's already a fruitling. Um, I don't know if it's... I don't think it's giving anything off yet, but a way to find out is to open it up. So we're going to hit square on it to open it up. Uh, yeah, it's already producing. So there's a seed back already, and it's already giving you narco berries. Um, one of the things I didn't cover in the other video, these are large crop plots. There's also medium and small. For you to get the most amount out of stuff, you want to do the large ones. Um, and then if you plan on doing like plant X, Y, or Z, you'll want large crop plots for those as well. Um, they... Actually, I think one of them you can just... I, I'm not going to say anything about that because I'm not 100% sure on that because that's a, the plant that I've never actually used before. There's one that's like a trap that I think you can kind of just put into the ground. I'm not sure how that one works. Um, but I think it's plant X and Z that literally you can just... Um, 
uh, put in a crop plot like these. They have to be large crop plots. You can't put them in a medium or small. And you have to have fertilizer in there and they have to constantly be watered. Which once, even these, once they start being watered, technically you don't even need this system. I could break all this off um, and the rain will actually be sufficient enough. It rains at least, I think, once a day in the game or once every other day. The rain will be enough to keep it irrigated non-stop so you don't really have to worry about it. Um, as you can see, the irrigation on these isn't going to go down. They're gonna, the ones that are empty are going to stay at 600. The ones that aren't empty are going to stay at 599 just because it's constantly ticking that one thing. Um, like, it's just always going to be at 599, um, which is fine. And then uh, one of the things I wanted to point out as well is... Um, uh, where's that? Let's see. As you can see right there at the very bottom, it says greenhouse effect 300%. 300%, 300%. So all these are going to be 300% greenhouse effect. Um, what that is, is you have to do it inside of a greenhouse and it just makes the plant grow faster and it'll stay uh, alive longer and stuff like that. Because even if I'm not pulling out these narco berries right here, even if I'm not pulling them out, um, it will... Oh, look, I already got another one. Even if I'm not pulling them out, um, what it'll do is it'll, it'll just make it go slower. Um, whether you pull them out or not, it's it's your plant's just going to produce a lot slower. Uh, the fact that it's at 300 right now is actually really good. And like you like you just seen, you can literally just keep pulling berries out of here. If there's berries in here, you can pull them out. You can even pull out this seed. It's not going to mess anything up. I will show you. There you go. Um, it just takes away that. And the next time that uh, that it actually produces something, it will pop in another seed, and it will uh, also grow more narcoberries. There's another narcoberry right there. Um, so that's what I meant by they replant themselves. The only way for you to actually get rid of this plant once it's done like that is you would have to hold triangle and you would have to do that very bottom one right there, that one. It says destroy planted crop narco berry seed fruitling. Or you can just de or demolish the entire thing, which no, no, no. Oh God, that almost gave me a heart attack. Um, you can just demolish the whole thing and that is how you get rid of the actual seed itself. Um, if you want to keep keep the crop and just keep that thing planted then you want to do the very first one I told you it's that bottom one right there it says destroy planted crop narcoberry seed it'll destroy the plant itself um, it won't oh that means another seed popped in there I think let's see nope just another berry all right well we're gonna take it you can see the little berries are gone again and it just keeps producing non-stop so if you guys are definitely playing in a single player game definitely set up some crops and stuff they're very fun, easy to use and stuff. Uh, you don't have to do a lot of farming once you do all that. And what I mean by farming is like the actual grinding, like running out there with, with this guy to get berries and stuff. So now I have my own thing of narco berries coming in. And I will start making um, other plants uh, as soon as I can get more... Uh, what's it called? More... Fertilizer before actually doing anything else. So... That is going to be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to talk about the crops a little bit more because there was some details that I left out, like I said, with the uh, with just getting the berries in general and as well as um, um, actually showing you guys about the dung beetle and how to get one, the passive taming and all that because it's going to go hand in hand with each other. So it's definitely something you guys need to know about. But thank you guys for joining me. If you guys have any questions about any of that stuff, let me know down in the comment section. I will definitely fill you guys in. Just make sure that you are being clear on what you're trying to ask so that I can give you a good answer. Um, if I don't understand the question or something like that, I may ask you to explain it more in detail of what you're trying to figure out. Um, or I may even just ask like, hey, what is it that you're trying to get out of the answer that you're asking? So like if you're, if you're asking something because you're trying to do something, it may be easier for you to tell me what, what it is you're trying to accomplish in the long run. Like, hey, I want to figure out how to um, how to keep my plants watered. Then it would be easier for me to tell you, okay, we'll just go and make an irrig irrigation thing like this. And I'll show you guys how to do that if you guys need me to and stuff like that. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video.